Barbie Princess Adventure. It was a beautiful day in the kingdom of Floravia. Princess Amelia was enjoying a gallop across the hilltops on her horse. Morning Star, I love being alone up here, thought the princess. It makes me feel like me. But Princess Amelia wasn't alone for long. Her team of assistants and photographers arrived and began visibly fussing around her. Barbie, Chelsea, and Daisy were having fun at the dream house filming Barbie's vlog. The girls had a great time trying on costumes. You can be whatever you want to be, said Barbie to the camera while wearing a wavy blonde wig. She was hoping to inspire people with her vlog. And Floravia, Princess Amelia was watching Barbie's vlog. She felt inspired. When will I have the freedom to make my own decisions? She asked Alfonso, her royal advisor. When I know you're ready, Alfonso replied. Until then, it's my job to protect you. At the high school, Barbie and her friends received exciting news. You've been selected for a trip to the royal palace in Floravia for the coronation of Princess Amelia. Announced Principal Miller. Can you believe it, said Daisy. We're going to Floravia. At the airport, Barbie began vlogging their trip. She gave goodbye hugs to her family, but didn't notice her puppy Taffy sneaking into her carry-on luggage. In Floravia, the friends stepped into the beautiful palace. Taffy peeked out and spotted a bunny. Off Taffy went with Barbie after her, until she came face to face with her twin. I'm so sorry, said Barbie. I'm Barbie and this is Taffy. My little stowaway, the princess left. I know who you are. I watch your vlog. I'm Princess Amelia and this is Snowy. We look so alike. I'd love to switch places with you for a few days so I can experience life outside the palace before I become queen. Barbie was all in with the plan. Outside the room, a royal footman was listening. Barbie told her friends about the secret plan. The first royal event is a pre-coronation party on a yacht. While the girls were excitedly putting on beautiful dresses for the party, Princess Amelia, dressed as Barbie, was sneaking out from a secret passageway with Snowy. On the yacht, Barbie, dressed as a princess, met Prince Johan. Barbie realized he was eyeing her necklace, her Barbie necklace. So she slipped away to join her friends. What was she that did Prince not Johan had spies among the footmen, and he had devious plans to have himself crowned the king. After the party, Barbie video called Princess Amelia to check in. Barbie told her she worried someone would guess they had switched places. Don't worry, said the princess. We'll switch back on coronation day. I'm having a great time blending in with people in the town. And I'm having a royally great time, laughed Barbie. Princess Amelia went to the town park. She spoke with people of the kingdom and told them she was gathering interesting tales of Floravia for a Barbie vlog. She learned new things to help her become a better queen for Floravia. Meanwhile, Barbie was visiting the Royal Horse Academy. She was a bit worried that morning. Star would know she was not Princess Amelia. However, Barbie was able to win her trust, and the crowd was delighted as the horse and rider performed a wonderful dance routine. That evening, Barbie and the princess video chatted to compare their day. I had such an amazing day, said Princess Amelia. I gathered so many stories and ideas from the townspeople. I wish I could share my day with everyone. Barbie had an idea. 
Let's record an interview of you for my vlog right now. I promise not to show it until after we swap back. Then you can show the world. In the streets of Floravia, Princess Amelia continued enjoying her secret life. But as she explored her kingdom, oh no, Snowy hopped away down an alley. Amelia ran after her bunny, never noticing the two royal footmen following right behind her. The next morning, Barbie was worried. The princess isn't answering her phone. She told her friends and it's time to transfer the coronation. At that moment, they heard scratching coming from inside the wardrobe. Barbie opened the door. It's snowy, she exclaimed, and a secret passageway added Teresa. The friends followed the passageway and discovered that it led to Princess Amelia's bedroom. Inside, two royal footmen were discussing their capture of the princess. A runaway, laughed the footman, and Prince Johan will heroically accept the crown. Laughed the other as the friends listened. Barbie, whispered the princess, is in trouble and needs our help. Barbie quickly dressed and rushed to find Alfonso, but found Prince Johan first. Where are you going, princess? Sneered the prince. Or should I say Barbie? Where's the princess? Demanded Barbie. She ran away onto my yacht. Now I'm to be crowned king, the prince declared. Barbie stomped on the prince's foot, sending him stumbling into the footman, and then ran quickly out of the room. Barbie scooped up Snowy, hopped onto Morning Star, and dashed across the countryside to the docks. Once there, Barbie sneaked onto the yacht, passed a guard, and searched from room to room until she found the princess. Oh, Barbie, said the princess, and Snowy, let's get out of here, whispered Barbie. Morning Star carried Barbie, the princess, and Snowy, galloping back to the palace just in time to see Prince Johan about to crown himself. King Taffy leapt at the prince, knocking him over and sending the crown flying into the air. Thanks, Taffy, said Barbie triumphantly as she caught the crown. Imposter, cried Prince Johan. You are not the real princess, but I am, the princess announced as she came forward. Arrest him. A short time later, the princess was ready for her coronation. Alfonso, the royal advisor, carefully placed the crown onto Queen Amelia's head as the crowd cheered. A celebration reception for all the guests followed and a blast of laser lights. A glowing DJ booth rose up from the ground with Daisy behind the record decks. Hit it, Daisy called Queen Amelia. The room was transformed into an amazing disco party. Using her phone to live vlog the party Barbie, Queen Amelia, and their friends danced as they shared the celebration with the world.